Alfonso Gonsalves, the movie Carol has these bookends uh, that are very reminiscent of another great romantic film, Brief Encounter. As an editor, what do you think those bookends added to the film as a whole? Well, uh, I mean, it is a direct reference to Brief Encounter. And it, I think that what we hope to achieve it was to understand sort of the, the, how much you have to, to, to travel in love to get what you want. And like, what, what is that? The bookend is basically, we're showing the love at its peak or when love is actually, both of them understand that that's, they are in love with each other. So we just go, uh, you sandwich the, the, the distance you need to travel to get to that point, basically, to fall in love, to know, to meet somebody and to reach the point and be like, okay, yeah, I am in love with this person and I don't think I can do anything without her. In every, all, all sort of like the, the different directions you go to get to that point, you know? So I think that's what we were trying to achieve with, with that, specifically that, that structure. Mm -hmm. Now, was that something that was always there from the beginning or was it something that you guys came up with in post? No, there was something that was scripted. As a matter of fact, there was the the it, on the script and the way it was shot. It was another level of of uh, a flashback, but it became too confusing, too strenuous. Then we just kept it simple, just the beginning and the end. Uh, I don't know if you watched the movie, but at the very end, there's a party that Therese goes to, and that party was actually through the film. We we kept going back to the party, and in the party, she would think about. Her falling in love with 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 uh, Carol, but it was just it just felt too much. It's like we don't we don't have that. And every time you're watching and you're falling for them and you're going with the story, and all of a sudden you're back on this world. It'd be like no 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 I I don't want to be here. So quickly realize this is not this is not something that is helping uh, getting to where we want to go. So we just shifted everything to the back and just be a sim very simple. Uh, uh, flashback where you just follow the story the way the way you got, it kind of this story is asking for you to do right uh i want to talk about uh the pace of the film uh you know this is obviously a very somber and at times tragic love story um so can you talk about coming up with the pace of the film uh finessing it throughout the editorial process the piece is very much, I mean, I had worked with Todd before. I did, I worked on uh, Mildred Pierce with him. So I knew he has a very specific, very, he, he there's something that he likes the story to, to be developed and, and sort of growth in a very specific way. But the way he directs is all that too. But the, the pay, for Carol, the pace, I was, I was trying to follow basically the lead from Carol and, and Therese. Uh, their performance is so specific and there's some it's so full of details there is in especially on the first end of the film uh, the close-ups they are a little slower than what you expect because I kind of want to I, I want the, the audience to know and to feel and to see Therese's choices so Kara says something it takes a while for it to land on Therese and she reacts and she gives you an extra stuff and that's so much the way Rooney does stuff. It's so beautiful. Like it's stitched together so beautiful. And then if you go to a to a, a, a more, if the pace is a little hurried and you want to get to where you want to go, I think you miss that. There, and, and it's so much, I mean, the film, it's so much about Therese growing and changing. And I wanted that too. They're like, okay, when she's with, and there's about contrast, when she's with Richard, when she's with her boyfriend, it is fast, it is overlap, it is jagged, it's just like, do you wanna do this? No, I don't wanna go, no, it, she jumps on it. With Kara's the absolute opposite. It's, it's, it's half a step behind. So the pace, I was playing with that, that idea, the contrast, and so there was a kind of a musicality to it. And, and like you said, it is, it is dark, it is somber, and and it is a challenge too to to deliver a film that has that kind of pace. It's not it's it's not an easy ride to to be. But it's it's a film it's a film less about 
being passionate and and just uh, I'll, I'll crazy your faster pace it's just about love and how that sort of slowly especially in the 50s and a lesbian love story so it was something that both me and Todd felt like he needed that a little a little kind of more uh, s a slower pace right uh you mentioned having worked with Todd Haynes before on Mildred Pierce. What is that collaboration like? What does he give you as a director that helps you in the editing of the film? I mean, it's, it's really amazing. I really love working with Todd because he's very, he's, he's very focused and he knows what he likes, he doesn't like. Uh, there were beautiful, amazing scenes that they were shot and they were cut together and they put in the film that just didn't work. And Todd was the first one to recognize uh, we had a few screenings and we got feedback and then when I felt something like what why don't we try this or try change the structure change this he, he he's very much like let's do it it's his focus is it's for the benefit to like the, the best possible way to tell the story and that's the story is true to the character it's true to the world we are creating so there are times I feel like okay this will never happen or this person wouldn't say anything or this person would react that way we we'll just cut it out and it's it's a it's and it's a dialogue it's and it's fun because it's a dialogue not only about the storytelling within the film but it's about music and it's about literature it's about uh the film reference we had and and so we, it's not not only learning to to through the process of, of making this film making the film better but you're learning in terms of being a filmmaker with like a great incredibly smart very studied guy uh person like todd is so it's 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 for me. It's, it's such a such a gift to, to to have that chance, you know. Right. This story has so much relevance to today's world. You know, even though the events of it are about fifty or sixty years removed. I mean, you look at everything that's going on in the country right now, uh, gay yeah. marriage being legalized in all fifty states, and yet it's still oftentimes a struggle. You know, for people like yeah. Carol or. Yes. Can you talk a bit about that? Yeah, I mean, it, it, that, that's very much not only the novel, but the, 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 the script, the Philly script, and the way Todd, uh, uh, Todd directed the actors and, and, and the way, the way he, he was shooting it, there's something about the constraint that not being able, because of, of the society sort of judgment on, on the kind of choices and the way Therese and Carol had to uh, uh, present themselves and present themselves to the world. And it's a lot the way it was shot, shot through glasses, shots to, there's something about hiding, there's something about not being fully yourself, which in motel rooms and, and hotel rooms and places there are just the two of them, and it affects the editing too. You don't cut, you let them leave, because okay, finally we have a chance that it's not like across a table, across a room, across a, a like a, a, a where you, you she's buying the toys there is always separation because it's almost it there is a, like a social political separation too of it is a taboo thing to do especially at that time and it's sad to say it still is a little bit at this time I mean, it was like we're making big big strides in the, in this direction but the fact that it's 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 a lesson of the story and it's it feels like oh you know it's it's now it's crazy to think like in the 50s and now it's still apropos to have a conversation about it you know so uh it informed my work in that sense that when they could do something that they had to go to iowa the little motel in iowa so we finally can can consummate the story and even what they do they got slapped in the face the day after and it's like well this 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 woman can catch a break you know um so, right. What drives you as an editor in some of the films that you've chosen? Because you've worked on a lot of really interesting and unique films, and one is not like the other, you know. So, what do you look for in material? Uh, I mean, interesting stories. I I think interesting stories, and but definitely directors. Uh, to to get to work with some, I feel incredibly to have a chance to work with Todd and and Ben Zeitlin and Kerry Fukunaga and Jim Jarmusch because they have a voice and it's very specific and it's really their own. 
so for me, I, I want to grow as a, as a, as a, film art, a filmmaker and I want to learn. And I think those are the, like, having a chance to work with those guys, I, I jump at the chance. It, it's really, it's so, it's so unique. It's so incredible. And I think that's, that's what I want. Like, how do they tell the story? It's so specific. And I kind of, I want to learn that, that way and, and, and grow as an editor just doing those, those kind of films. Right. Well, thank you so much and congratulations on the film. Thank you so much, man. Thank you.